604 happening now more than 24 hours after a statewide Amber Alert was issued. The search continues for a young boy who is believed to be in danger. We first told you about this yesterday as breaking news when we first heard about the search for five year old Darnell Taylor missing from Columbus. And WLWT News 5's Danielle Dindak is live for us this morning as the search continues. Danielle. Yes, good morning, guys. Darnell Taylor was first reported missing yesterday around 4 in the morning. Now, Columbus police tell us that his foster mother told her husband that Darnell was hurt, and then she took off from the home with Darnell nowhere to be found. Now, I also want to walk you through what else we know. So he has been missing for about 24 hours. Now, 24 hours later, police are still looking for him. Now, this is the latest photo of him that we got this morning. Now, here's a photo of the suspect, 48-year-old Pammy May. Yesterday morning, police found the vehicle in the Cleveland area. Now it was that she was believed to be in, but no one was inside that vehicle. Investigators say the focus of the investigation is still back in Columbus. We are searching the area around the house uh, and, and kind of expanding the, the search through the neighborhood. Um, but um, again, we are asking the public, anybody that has seen Pammy or Darnell in the past couple days uh, has known about their whereabouts or uh, any activities that they've been a part of, um, we would appreciate some information. Now, I do want to let you guys know that I did reach out to state police and Columbus police to try to figure out if there's going to be a press conference date or if there's any new information about this abduction, but they have yet to get back to us. Now, if you're wondering why you might not have caught an alert yesterday on your phone about this abduction, I'll break down why that could be coming up in the next half hour. Reporting live this morning, Danielle Dindak, WLWT News 5. That's all hoping for good news. Up that.